Has anyone actually played an NBA 2K My Career all the way through? I know I haven't. So I decided to see how long they'll actually let you play My Career for. Can you play till you're 50? Till you're 100? We're gonna find out in today's video. Now if you're new to My Career on Next Gen, you know I have to complete every quest in this game just to be able to simulate games. So if you could, leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and you will not believe how 2K did me dirty at the end of this video. So we're going to start here at the end of my 2022-2023 season. And I was on the Charlotte Hornets. I ended up playing good. We were the number one seed. And we were ready to go into the playoffs to play the Indiana Pacers. We ended up beating them in seven games to move on to the second round of the playoffs. We did our thing. We came in. We won. And then we lost the next round to the Chicago Bulls. Ending our season... But, it's okay. I had plans to leave and go to the worst team in the league because the more I make the playoffs in this series, the more longer it's going to take to simulate games because you cannot simulate a game quickly in the playoffs. You have to actually play it all the way through. I did end up winning MVP that season, and if you missed it, John Morant and the Grizzlies won the NBA Finals. I won MVP award. Andre Drummond won Sixth Man of the Year. Giannis won Defensive Player of the Year. Trey Jones, Most Improved Player. And Steve Clifford was the Hornets coach. He won coach of the year. Now we're in our 2023-2024 season. I decided to sign with the San Antonio Spurs because they were one of the worst teams in the league. And it worked out. We did not make the playoffs. And we went ahead and simulated the season. Now we fast forward to the playoffs. And the Cleveland Cavaliers are going to beat the Grizzlies in seven games for Darius Garland and them boys to get their first ring. Jokic won MVP again. Frank Oliver, Rookie of the Year. He's one of them 2K generic people. Nashawn Highland won Six Man. Anthony Davis won Defensive Player of the Year. And Chet Holmgren won Most Improved Player. Fast forward to the 24-25 season. As you can see there, Jalen Brown is on the Magic. De'Aaron Fox is now on the Knicks. Chris Middleton with the Lakers. Chris Stapps Porzingis on the Raptors. And if you didn't know, LeBron James is officially retired. Lonzo Ball is on the Spurs. Jalen Brunson joined up with Steph Curry on the Warriors. And DeMar DeRozan finally made his way to LA as a member of the Clippers. Kawhi Leonard is now a member of the Bulls, but he has torn his left ACL, so he is out for the year. Fast forward to the playoffs again. We did not make it as the Spurs, and we're going to see who wins the finals this year. The 2025 champions are again the Cleveland Cavaliers. They met up with the Warriors again for the fifth time in the past, what, 15 years, 10, 15 years, something like that. LaMelo Ball is taking home the MVP for the 2025 season. He did his thing, averaged a double-double with 14 assists. Rookie of the year, Alexi Gornev. Alfred Sangoon. Defensive player of the year is Anthony Davis, most improved player. Pred Rag Lukowski, I can't even say his name, JB coach of the year. We're going to forward to our 2025-26 season. Jason Tatum's now a member of the Los Angeles Clippers. Scotty Barnes has joined the Utah Jazz. Brandon Ingram joining up with Giannis Antetokounmpo. Lonzo Ball joining the Boston Celtics. Jalen Brunson has left the Warriors only after a year to join the Pacers. And now we're in the playoffs again. We did not make it, of course. The Cavaliers win another ring back-to-back -back years. The Cavaliers beat the Nuggets in seven games to win their second straight finals. LaMelo Ball winning another MVP, doing his thing. Aaron Wilkins, Rookie of the Year. Nikola Vucevic, sixth man of the year for the Suns. Chet Holmgren won his first defensive player of the year. And Cody Hughes, most improved player. Fast forward now to our 26-27 season. We have Giannis joining the Boston Celtics. Kevin Durant is now 38 years old. He is a member of the Clippers with Jason Tatum. Steph Curry left the Warriors to play for the Boston Celtics. He's still a 90 overall at age 38. Carl Anthony Towns is joining the Chicago Bulls at an 88 overall, age 30. Paulo Bancaro joining the Detroit Pistons. He's an 88 overall at age 23, so he has a big upside. Zach Levine found his way back to the Timberwolves. He's doing his thing. 
playoffs again 2027 we missed the playoffs this year yet again the cavaliers are playing the thunder Cavs are looking for their fourth in a row but the thunder beat them in seven games so the thunder with all that young talent all those draft picks they put it together in just a few short seasons to be able to win the finals Luka Doncic averaging a triple double on the season gets his first MVP award for his career Austin Woolridge rookie of the year six men of the year Tyler Hero Chet Holmgren defensive player of the year Frankie Bryant most improved player Wes Unsell Jr coach of the year so we're going into our 2027 2028 season and I'm going to go ahead and re-sign four more years with the Spurs because hey they're not winning we're not making the playoffs it's all good Luka Doncic has left the Mavericks after winning the MVP to play for the Portland Trailblazers. Damian Lillard has retired. He is no longer in the league, so he's the man there now in Portland. Devin Booker joining the Toronto Raptors. Welcome to the six. Carl Anthony Towns left the Bulls after just one season to play for the 76ers. And that makes you think, where is Joel Embiid? Trey Young is on the Clippers now with Jason Tatum. Joel Embiid is now a member of the Dallas Mavericks. So Joel Embiid now finally left the Sixers. I mean, they do have Carl Anthony Towns now, though. So Shea Gilgis Alexander won a ring with the Thunder and said, all right, y'all, I'm out. I'm going to go play for the Washington Wizards. And Kyrie Irving made his way back to Cleveland to back up Darius Garland. Or maybe he's starting shooting guard. Who knows? Because Donovan Mitchell is no longer there. He... Found his way back to the Utah Jazz. Everybody's going back to the team that drafted them, it seems like. Zach Levine to the Suns. He did play for the Timberwolves last year, but now he's on the Suns. Playoffs time again. We did not make it yet again, which is okay with me. And we have the Memphis Grizzlies winning the finals. John Morant winning his second ring of his career. He's just... He's John Morant. He's doing his thing out here. Most valuable player, Nikola Jokic, winning the MVP again. I don't know why his number is now. Number 16. Maybe they retired Carmelo's number or something like that. Havel Gary winning the Rookie of the Year. Sean Cunningham, Sixth Man of the Year. Oh, wow. And I win a Defensive Player of the Year. My first one. I'll take it. Aaron Wilkins, Most Improved Player and Coach of the Year, Willie Green. Fast forward now to our 2028-2029 season. Shep Owens is now the best player in the league. Cade Cunningham is a member of the Cleveland Cavaliers. I wonder if Garland's still there. Zion Williamson is now a member of the Pacers. Jason Tatum left Trey Young to play for the Heat. Darius Garland is a member of the Pistons. That makes me wonder if there was a trade maybe for Cunningham and Garland? Who knows? Jimmy Butler somehow found his way back to the Bulls. Like I said, everyone's just going back to the team that drafted them. It's pretty crazy. Jimmy Butler, 39 years old. Simulating through the playoffs again. We did not make it yet again. The Grizzlies. John Morant winning back-to-back -back chips in his third ring of his career. 4-3 to three on the Pacers, who made it to the finals. MVP is Luka Doncic. Remember, he plays for the Portland Trail Blazers now. He did his thing again. Winning his second MVP award. R.J. Walker, Rookie of the Year. Markel Fultz, Sixth Man of the Year. Giannis winning another Defensive Player of the Year for the Celtics. Havel Gary, I don't even know what award that was, but he won it. Shep Owens on our 2029-2030 season is a member of the Boston Celtics now. He finally left the Grizzlies. He won three wings with John Morant. Zion Williamson is still a member of the Pacers. He's a 93 overall at 29 years old. Giannis left the Celtics, though. He's with the New Orleans Pelicans. Josh Giddy, 92 overall, now plays for the Kings. Scotty Barnes went to the Bucks, took Giannis's number while he was at it. So now he is playing for the Milwaukee Bucks. Brandon Ingram found his way back to the Lakers. Yet again, another player who has made it back to the team that drafted him. Jalen Green, a member of the Denver Nuggets now. De'Aaron Fox made his way to the Chicago Bulls. Donovan Mitchell... After going back to the Jazz, is now a member of the Brooklyn Nets. We did actually make the playoffs as a seventh seed, and we're taking on the Portland Trailblazers. But the thing is, Luka Doncic is injured, and we ended up beating them in seven games in the first round. So we beat the second seed. Again, Luka was not playing. We moved on to take on the Jazz, but they beat us in four games. They swept us right underneath the rug, and that's the best success we're going to have with the Spurs. Pistons end up winning the championship. I think Darius Garland 
is still their point guard if I'm not mistaken so that is his fourth ring Luka Doncic won another MVP that is his second in the in a row his third in his career Conrad Tyler rookie of the year remember this kid's name because he is about to take over the league D'Angelo Russell sixth man of the year defensive player of the year Chet Holmgren winning another defensive player of the year Dana Newton most improved player 2030 2031 season we actually had the third best seed in the whole entire league which makes us a third seed in the west this team's getting a little too good this is my last year with this team so i'm thinking about signing with the dallas mavericks or the los angeles lakers because they are the two worst teams in the league we took on the jazz in the first round but they beat us in five games they got us they did us dirty we we had a good season but we lost and the pistons end up winning another championship again four to two against the jazz i don't know if garland's still their point guard but he has like five rings now luca winning his third mvp in a row his fourth total for his career 24 points 12 assists eight rebounds alex weber winning rookie of the year jalen suggs sixth man of the year chet holmgren another defensive player of the year alvin brown most improved player 2031 2032 season like i said i'm signing with the mavericks for the lakers Lakers made some big signings in the offseason, so I decided to go with the Dallas Mavericks. Cade Cunningham back to the Pistons. LaMelo Ball still with the Charlotte Hornets. Darius Garland signs with the Philadelphia 76ers. Giannis, like I said, the Lakers made some big signings. He signed with the Lakers, so I knew I couldn't sign there. I didn't want to be too good. Devin Booker on the Hornets. Carl Anthony Towns signed to the Mavericks with me, so now we got a pretty good front court. But we did not make the playoffs, which is just what I wanted. And we're going to simulate the 2032 playoffs to get our championship winners, the Portland Trailblazers. Luka Doncic finally winning his ring. And he's winning another MVP. 24 points, 8.8 .8 rebounds, 11 assists. That is his, what, I think fourth MVP in a row, fifth total for his career. Dalen Newman, Rookie of the Year, Sixth Man of the Year. And I win me another Defensive Player of the Year award. That is now my second doing big things out here, I guess. Spencer Humphreys, most improved player. Mike Malone, Coach of the Year. 2032-2033 season. Conrad Tyler is now the best, highest rated overall player in the league. And Jason Tatum is now a member of the Heat. Um, just a lot of moves here lately. Trey Young still on the Clippers. Nothing too crazy happened during this offseason. Jalen Brown's a member of the Pelicans now. We're going to go ahead and simulate the playoffs yet again. 20, 33 playoffs here. Let's see what we got. And it looks like the Portland Trailblazers are going to win another ring. Luka Doncic winning his second ring in a row. His fifth MVP in a row. Giving him six MVPs and two rings for his career. Raymond Barkley, Rookie of the Year, 13 points. Ben Simmons, Sixth Man of the Year for the Orlando Magic. Chet Holmgren, Defensive Player of the Year yet again. So now it seems like me and Chet are just trading the Defensive Player of the Year awards. Twenty thirty three, twenty thirty four season. Nothing changes really again. Luka's still in the league. He's getting old, though. He's getting old. Jalen Green's now a member of the Clippers. Jokic is a member of the Bulls. He finally left the Nuggets. I thought he was going to be there for life. And we just got a lot of players here not really doing much. Giannis is getting old. His overall is dropping a little bit every year. Playoffs again. Here come the Utah Jazz. I'm not sure who they have on their team to be winning championships because this is their second one in just a few years i think or is this that might be their first one actually darius garland though winning the mvp for the philadelphia 76ers 34 points a game 10 assists doing his thing out there for sure eugene clayton rookie of the year luka Doncic, sixth man of the year so that man went from winning five mvps in a row to be coming off the bench which is crazy but you know what he's getting old defensive player of the year oliver finley most improved player, Adelson Costa, 21 points. And Gabriel Weber is your coach of the year. 34-35 season, Cade Cunningham is now on the net. Josh Giddy is on the Warriors. Darius Garland still there. Everybody is 
pretty much in the same spot except for a few people. Javari Smith Jr. is still on the Houston Rockets, so he looks like he's going to be a lifer. He's going to be there his whole career. Simulating the playoffs yet again. I don't even know who who's who anymore. This is just, it's crazy. The league is crazy right now. The Brooklyn Nets winning the finals, beating the Trailblazers. I don't know if Luka is going to be done after this year, but we'll see. Conrad Tyler winning the most valuable player this is the beginning of his takeover because this this kid right here starts going crazy peter gill rookie of the year for the raptors luka Doncic, another six man of the year his numbers are dropping but he's still doing his thing leroy manis for the clippers defensive player of the year bruce brown not the actual bruce brown that's the fake bruce brown winning most improved player 35 36 season i am now a free agent and I decided, you know what? My career is almost over. Mavericks are starting to get a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and sign with my favorite team in real life, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Play with my guy, Evan Mobley. He's still on the Cavs. He's at the tail end of his career. And Shep Owens is now a member of the Philadelphia 76ers. Cade Cunningham still on the net. So he won the ring. LaMelo still with the Hornets. Darius Garland is now with the Boston Celtics. 35 years old, 86 overall. John Morant still with the Grizzlies. He ain't leaving them yet. Jabari Smith Jr., like I said, still there. Luka is now a member of the Timberwolves. Didn't see that coming, but he is probably in one of his last seasons of his career. Simulating the playoffs again for the 36th season. And the Trailblazers win another finals. They just got some good generic 2K rookies on their team. They're not rookies anymore, but Brent Barker. Winning the MVP, that's probably the reason they did win the finals. 28 points, 4 assists. Kind of mediocre numbers, but he came out here and did his thing. Jerome Anthony, 6th man of the year. Eugene Clayton, defensive player of the year. Brent Barker, most improved player and MVP. Chauncey Billups, that is the Trailblazers coach. He won the coach of the year. 2036-2037 season, LaMelo Ball finally left the Hornets at age 35. He is now a member of the Pacers. Chet Holmgren at age 34 left the Thunder. He is now a member of the Atlanta Hawks. John ja Moran actually left the Grizzlies. He's with the Pelicans now. And Darius Garland still with the Celtics. Anthony Edwards is with the Milwaukee Bucks. He finally left the Timberwolves. Trey Young is still in the league at age 38. 79 overall. He is on the 76ers. Jason Tatum, 38 years of, as well, is on the Memphis Grizzlies. 79 overall. And then we have Kristaps Porzingis Jr., which is kind of funny. I ran into a lot of names like this during the simulation. There's a lot of juniors of real-life NBA players. Zion's still in the league, 36 years old, but he's only a 78 overall. So I'm thinking his uh, injuries maybe finally caught up with him. Simulating the 2037 playoffs here, and we have the Celtics sweeping the Rockets four games. I think Darius Garland's on the Celtics. I don't even know how many rings the dude has now. I think that's like number five. Conrad Tyler won MVP again, but this time he plays for the Utah Jazz. He was on the Lakers for most of his career. Pat Vaughn, rookie of the year. Warren Rollins, two names sound just alike. Sixth man of the year. Leroy Manis, defensive player of the year. And then most improved player, Jonathan Booker. 2037-38 season. Darius Garland. I decided to sort by age to see, you know, who's still in the league at this point that we started with. Because everyone that started with the first season with me has to be getting around the same age as me. And a lot of people are getting old out here. Jalen Green's now 35 years old. He's playing for the Mavericks, 76 overall. Um, Shep Owens is still out here at a 92 overall. He's 34 years old. So he's kind of in his a little bit past his prime probably but we're going to simulate the 38 playoffs here and we have our winners as the utah jazz so conrad doing his thing again beating the sixers in five games total conrad taylor tyler sorry winning the mvp yet again that is his what second or third in a row i don't know if it's in a row but that is definitely his second or third malcolm hip sixth man of the year and i win another defensive player of the year you know me i'm just out here doing my thing even at you know 36 years old 
just just being a dog on defense. Jonathan Booker, one of the most improved players. Steven Silas, coach of the year. 2039 season. Tyrese Halliburton still in the league. Kate Cunningham's now with the Spurs. LaMelo Ball with the Pacers. Mobley still kicking with the Cavaliers. Then we have Josh Giddy on the Kings. Chet Holmgren is now on the Rockets. Jonathan Kuminga still with the Warriors. He's going to be there for probably his whole career. Jaden Ivey's on the Warriors as well. And we still have Shep Owens on the Sixers. He's still a 91 overall. Paulo Bencaro with the Pistons. And Jabari Smith Jr. still sticking around with the Rockets. He ain't leaving, man. He loves it there. Playoffs for the 2039 season, guys. Who is going to win it? We got to see here that it is the Houston Rockets beating the Chicago Bulls. So Jabari Smith Jr. gets a ring. He stuck it out for his entire career and he won a ring. Shep Owens winning his first MVP, even at age 35, 28 points, 11 rebounds, 4 assists. Jamario Hasselhoff winning Rookie of the Year. Six man Josh Giddy, Eugene Clayton, Defensive Player of the Year. Denilson Pessoa, Most Improved Player. And Mike Brown, that man's still in the league. He got to be like 70 years old now. 2039, 2040 season. I decided to re-sign with the Cavs. I don't think we're going to really be making the playoffs. We don't really have that good of a roster. Kate Cunningham, 87 overall at age 38. The Mellow Ball still in the league, playing for the Suns. Josh Giddy still sticking around with the Kings. Jaden Ivey's with the Pacers. Shep Owens is still with the Philadelphia 76ers. Paulo Bencaro still with the Detroit Pistons. Jabari Smith staying with the Rockets. That man is never going to leave. Simulating the 2040 NBA playoffs, who is going to win the finals this year? It looked like it's going to be the Philadelphia 76ers, so Shep Owens. I don't know if that's his first ring, but I think it might be. He's winning his first ring. Most valuable player, Shep Owens, winning his second MVP in a row. I guess he's just doing his thing there. Dylan Patrick, Rookie of the Year, Sixth Man of the Year, Bradford Whitehead. And I win another Defensive Player of the Year. Let's go, baby. I think that's my fifth. Fourth or fifth defensive player of the year. I'm just a dog out there, even when I'm 39 years old. Now we're in our 2040, 2041 season. I'm 39. I'm thinking this is probably my last season, but I never know. I thought 2K might give me 20 seasons. Josh Giddy's still in the league. Paulo Bencaro's still in the league. Shep Owens is in the league. And we made the playoffs, guys. That's an 8 seed, 39 and 43. And we upset the Heat in the first round. Is this my last season? Am I going to go out as a champion and win my first and only ring for my career? Who knows? But we do not, guys. We go ahead and lose to the Orlando Magic in seven games in our very next round. And I sadly have to announce that that is the end of my career. And 2K did me dirty. The Mavericks won the finals. But the thing about this is... They won't let me sign for another team, and you're going to see here in a second. Conrad Tyler, as a member of the Celtics now, won another MVP award. I think that is his, like, fourth, third or fourth MVP. Kevin Lydon, Rookie of the Year. Wallace Frazier, Sixth Man of the Year. Daniel Corver, another Defensive Player of the Year. That's my sixth, I believe. But this is sadly my last year, guys. I loaded up for the next season. They completely took away the My Career tab. I cannot access no stats. No NBA record books, nothing, which is one of the number one things I wanted to do with this series is to see the record books, see who, you know, finished their career with the most made threes, which is probably Steph Curry, but I've seen some crazy simulations where like Kobe White or someone else was in first. And I just wanted to see the record books and I can't even see it. I can't even retire my player, which I already met the curriculum or whatever for the Hall of Fame. I had like eight out of the six milestones that you had to complete and it won't even let me retire my player it won't let me check my stats i wanted to see you know my career numbers i wanted to see how many defensive player of the year awards i won i wanted to see you know see how many rings everyone won darius garland and all of them like because he started to have a good career i think he ended up winning like six rings on different teams so they kind of did it dumb how they did this but i'm no longer on a team i can't go to the team arena or nothing like that it's over. The career is over. I can still play Park. Thank God because this is my wreck build. But it is over, guys. Leave a like. I'm out.